Let's explore those shrouded in mystery of the world's mystery, magic and values life lessons. Shadows of Fear In the heart of the Philippine archipelago, where verdant jungles meet the shadowy mists of the mountains, a fearsome legend stirs. The Aswang, a name whispered with dread in every corner of the islands, represents a myriad of horrifying entities, each with its own sinister traits. Its legend is a tapestry of terror, woven with threads of ancient myths and dark tales passed down through gene rations. In a remote village nestled at the edge of a sprawling forest in Visayas, the air was thick with the scent of damp earth and decaying leaves. The villagers, mostly fishermen and farmers, went about their daily lives with a cautious reverence for the forest that encircled them. They knew the forest held secrets not meant for human eyes. Among these secrets, the most feared was the Aswang. The village elder, Mang Isku, was a repository of ancient knowledge. His stories, often shared around the flickering light of a communal fire, spoke of the Aswang with a mix of solemnity and fear. He described the Aswang not as a single entity but as a collection of nightmarish beings, each with its own ghastly purpose. One of the most feared was the Tik Tik, a creature known for its haunting, echo on call that signaled its presence. The Tik Tik would descend upon sleeping villages, its long, skeletal fingers reaching through windows and cracks to snatch away the unsuspecting. Its cry, a chilling, Tik Tik Tik, was said to grow louder the closer it got, a dear warning of impending doom. Another terror was the Mananangal, a horrifying creature with the ability to separate its upper body from its lower half. With wings like bats, it would soar through the night, searching for pregnant women to prey upon. The Mananangal's insatiable hunger was fueled by the essence of unborn children, which it consumed with a voracious appetite. The villagers lived with a constant, unspoken anxiety. Their nightly rituals included placing garlic, salt, and holy amulets around their homes, hoping to ward off these malevolent beings. Yet, despite their precautions, the fear of the Aswang loomed large, an ever-present shadow in their lives. One fateful night, a young woman named Maria, new to the village, arrived with her husband. She had heard whispers of the Aswang but dismissed them as mere folklore. Her arrival coincided with the darkest of nights, when the forest seemed to close in, suffocating the village in an eerie silence. As Maria and her husband settled into their modest home, the villagers' concern grew. Mang Isku, with his deep lines of worry etched across his face, approached the couple, urging them to hid the village's customs. Maria, though polite, brushed off the elders' warnings, attributing them to superstition. But as the moon cast long, slender shadows through the dense foliage, the forest seemed to awaken. Strange sounds, a mix of whispers and distant cries, pervaded the night air. Maria, unsettled but resolute, tried to dismiss the growing sense of unease. Little did she know, her skepticism would soon be tested. As the clock struck midnight, the sounds grew closer, and an unearthly chill swept through their home. The villagers, eyes filled with a mixture of pity and foreboding, watched from a distance, hoping that the couple's fate would serve as a grim reminder of the Aswanji's dark presence. And so began Maria's unwelcome introduction to the ancient horrors that lurked just beyond the village's protective circle, a night of terror that would unravel the deep-seated fears of the Aswang, one legend at a time. And so began Maria's unwelcome introduction to the ancient horrors that lurked just beyond the village's protective circle, 
a night of terror that would unravel the deep-seated fears of the Aswang, one legend at a time. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you on my next video.